Hello and welcome. I'm Master Lama Rasaji, and this is our Saturday edition of Rasaji Speaks. Today we have a very interesting subject. We're going to talk about the Kubala Mela. The Kubala Mela. What is the purpose of Kubala Mela? that originated in the country of India. Kubala Mello means sacred pitcher, like a water pitcher, think of pouring out. It is the largest peaceful congregation of pilgrims on the earth, during which participants take a dip in the sacred river like the Ganges in India. Devotees believe that by bathing in the Ganges, one is freed from sins, liberating him or her from the cycle of birth and death. I want you to think about that since the ancient Hindu religion is well older than Christianity. So you see the concept of baptism, again, is rooted in city yoga teaching. Very important for our metaphysical Christians. Why is it called kubala? Means pitcher, jar or pot in Sanskrit. It's from the Vedic texts and the mystical nectar of immortality. Celebrated every 12 years, the planet Jupiter is considered the influence as it takes 12 years for Jupiter to completely go all the way through our solar system. The cupola is every 12 years. Well, isn't it interesting when you look at the Chinese zodiac, which are 12 year cycles, right? We're in the year of the dragon. Everybody knows we're in the year of the dragon. So, 12 years ago was the last time it was the dragon and also was the last time we had Kubala Mela. Kubala means pitcher while Mela means festival or pitcher of festival, a festival of the pitcher pouring out. According to ancient Hindu mythology, Lord Vishu, which represents the manifestation of the Holy Spirit, released drops of immortal nectar carried by Kubala. Now you remember Krishna, which means Christ of Asia, was considered the manifestation of Vishu. And his very chance in Shaktipat could bring immortality. Very interesting, yes? It rotates between four dominant cities or villages in India. Nasiok, Praagumba, Turiya, Yunja, and Hadwa. This year, Kubala Mela was celebrated from January the 15th to March 8th. Interesting, right before it overlaps with the early Lenten season this year. And guess how many days they celebrate that? 54. Five and four is nine. Return to. So, inter interestingly, the Babaji and 12 of the 18 Siddhas materialized during the Kabbalah Mello around 1875 to a small child by the name of Sri Yukta Swa. He was 12 years old at the time. And Babaji gave him the blessings and said, you will teach a student who will take yoga to the Western Hemisphere, of which 
over the next centuries, great yoga masters would incarnate. And you will write a book, The Holy Science, that will bring East and West religion and the mindset of East and West together. La Lamaji continues now with that legacy in this incarnation of bringing East and West with religion, East and West with medicine and holistic study. That's what we're doing here at the circle of chi.com. You should greatly think about joining us. Very powerful. We're having our own Kubla Mela this year. And our Kubla Mela actually happens every 60 days because we're in an accelerated moment in the Dar Power Yuga, Yuga meaning age or air, the second gear of ascension to the Holy or Heavenly Father. We're a little over 300 years into that getting less influenced by old karmetic patterns that are actually dissolving this year in the year of the wood dragon. Next year, the beginning of the wood snake will mean that those new patterns are gone. We'll be deeply into Dar Power Yuga and we'll spend another 2,100 years pushing toward the Treta. Yuga, the power of redemption of the teaching of Tai Chi Gong brings Treta Yuga every day more and more into a Dar Power Yuga consciousness. Our students, every three to six months, is like taking a hundred years into Treta Yuga. Within the next six to 12 years, we will see students manifesting awareness, consciousness, and energy levels as if they had incarnated in 4100 AD. But be here now. So, Guna Sante. I love it, I love it, I love it. And this is the burning and redemption of karma. Absolutely. Not only are we changing karma of the past, we are changing karma of the future, brothers and daughters, because your creativeness, when you were at a lower conscious level before you found the circle of chi, had already plotted things that you were coming into existence of or just unconsciously working through your karmatic patterns, those are being dissolved. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you in Tucson in a couple of weeks. Go to circleofchi.com and click on events for the live streaming is up. We have a limited number of seats and you'll get a good six to seven hours of live streaming on Saturday. It's Mother's Day weekend. So this Ascension tool will be in devotion to the Divine Mother. Barak Mushai, may the blessings be to you and your glorious family. Enjoy your God this weekend. Enjoy worship. Enjoy being a blessing to someone close to you that cannot be that same blessing in that same way to themselves. That makes you an, an ambassador of the Holy Spirit, an ambassador of the circle of chi, an ambassador of the teachings of Tai Chi Gong. Catch you this coming Monday on the latest edition of Versace Speaks. Now, don't be late. I'll be watching for you. God bless you.